All right, wasting some time here with a uh, replay of the Tier 7 British cruiser, the Fiji. Uh, three minutes into the battle, haven't fired a shot yet. Enemy team is going for an interesting strategy of let's all go one direction and see what happens. It uh, usually doesn't work out well for most teams, but you know, hey, they're going to try it. You know, that's cool. You know, Each their own. Shots out on the Pensacola. First rounds out and get seven, uh, seven hits. Well, six penetrating hits and one uh, overpin. That's uh, pretty nice damage. Uh, I do this a lot in the uh, the Fiji, man. It's, it's uh, or just British cruisers in general. You don't have to uh, fire just uh, because you can. You know, it's, it's really needs to uh, open your gun up, guns up whenever it uh, serves you best, not uh, just for any old target, any old time. Especially how sneaky you need to be and how accurate these guns is. That's just silly. Four bounces. So out of my twelve rounds, ten of them hit. Fortunately, four bounce, but man, I really do appreciate how accurate these guns are. Uh, I, I am, uh, I do need to buy the Edinburgh. I am past the Fiji. I didn't sell it. Actually, I sold my Miyoko uh, because I was, as far as tier seven cruisers, I think this is uh, the one for me at the moment. Go around here, Pensacola decided to back that thing up. Also an interesting strategy. Why would you do that? I don't know. Uh, not so lucky for me. A little too far back. I did slam the brakes on and then accelerate back uh, into it. Two Citadel hits. Uh, five other hits. Man, that's just that's just brutal. Just brutality. Pensacola, man. Tier seven. That uh, I remember it. I, it's been a while since I played it. Goodness, I am uh, glad I am past it. Surprising enough, bounce some shots from that guy. Haven't received any damage yet. Enemy York is trying to uh, start a fight here. I was hoping to not engage him, actually, but I mean, I could have gone for uh, stealthiness and whatnot. I'm going to go for the uh, slow down and smoke up tactic, and he is overshooting me most of, uh, most of these rounds, too. Now I get to just shoot him. Too bad I don't have HE. That, uh, that's a big hindrance for the British cruisers. But it is kind of a... Uh, it's a good thing too, I think. Just because you can get you used to using AP more. Which I think would benefit a lot of people. I think a lot of folks could uh, benefit using more of the AP more of the time. And shots out on this guy. Another six solid hits. Uh... Unfortunately, the friendly ship that was spotting for me, he is no longer. So now I'm left to my own devices here. Rounds coming in from the uh, enemy ship. He is lucky enough to hit me. Uh, a lot of people, especially with just with the uh, extra cruisers with smoke, it seems like people are getting better with the uh, blind shots and the smoke. I know I've had a lot more practice. You gotta really pay attention to where you hit and the distance marker to that location that's I feel like that's pretty important and whether you're going farther from it or closer to it it's more than just aim in the middle of smoke and fire I feel like to actually uh, have good chances to land you're back to going broadside friendly cruiser is just charging right in best move a little bit high on those rounds but uh, readjusting switching to the Kirov bit squishier of a target over the uh, New York lower uh, lower tier. Also has torpedoes. Uh, 4k torpedoes. Decent uh, penetration as far as the Citadel hit from that angle, but uh, it's just a cure up. Though. And two more Citadels. <laughs> Excuse me while I wreck your face, sir. Enemy New York is uh, threw out a whole bag of notes and didn't like what was going on there. Furutaka. A little bit overextended. You never want to go to a point in a cruiser that you are uh, broadside to uh, more than, well, you're broadside to a target. That's a bad idea. But having to pick or choose between being broadside to a battleship and broadside to a cruiser, yeah, there's no good option there. It, it's, it's all bad in the end. I mean, obviously you can try to reduce the, uh, whichever one has the more firepower, but man, that's uh, just bad news bears, man. 
enemy fleet is uh, not doing too well with their push. Did manage to take out one of our battleships. They are about to kill this for Ataka because he's just uh, a little bit over eager. But, you know, that's cool too. And shots out. That guy's about to eat some torpedoes. I don't think he's going to like it. Silly fellow. Backing up right into him. I, really, I still really don't like the whole backing up... Uh, method. Honestly, I'd rather just show somebody the, the butt of my ship if I was going to try to leave him behind. I feel like it reduces your uh, actual options too much. New Mexico wants to fight. He's getting shot at by a uh, friendly battleship you see there at uh, E4. Ignoring the Scharnhorst <laughs> to just look into my smoke. <laughs> It's a, it's a terrible strategy, really. And shooting into the smoke. I guess I really upset him. I mean, I, I know he's trying to reset the cap. I get that. But I feel like he had more important things going on. And kill secure. Did get a Citadel hit on me. Good on that guy. Well done. But, man, the enemy team just kind of crumbled. Uh, enemy Otago coming back. Or... Otago. Congo. Oh, I'd be terrified that was an Otago. That'd be terrible. Enemy Congo running for the cap. Gets three torpedoes into the side. That's bad news. Enemy York coming back. My smoke does run out at right out a minute with the premium. The, uh, the timer down there. At a minute, the smoke will be mostly done. I'm trying to back up a bit, and then I'm going to try to... Uh, Get a bit of a head run at this guy. As far as uh, fighting something like the York, the if he switched to, to AP, he can actually overmatch the uh, the bow on this. Look at that dispersion. That's awful dispersion. <laughs> it happens though. He could overmatch the bow, I believe it, because it's only 15 uh, 15 millimeters. So anything over 200 or so I think we'll overmatch it but uh, he just goes broadside never go for broadside that's just it's just bad news it's, it's bad news I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to the guy uh, he does make me turn here but I mean with hydro it's not really in a danger of doing anything and he's just going to uh, there he goes get some decent hits into me with some AP rounds and going to uh, do the who can turn faster and launch their torpedoes first? The answer is me. He can launch his behind me. That's fine. But man, the torpedo angles on the uh, the Fiji. They're so nice. Enemy Congo, close range. I have my smoke back up. Gives me a moment to uh, stop here. Try to smoke up. Gets a few rounds into me. Enemy Congo gets a nice citadel to me off to my side there. That's uh, kind of what I, I meant about to... There's no real good choices here. Use my uh, repair. Things are heating up. <laughs> so one of the things I do like about the, uh, the British cruisers is it's, I really do find them all really fun because of the, uh, the chicanery and shenanigans you get yourself into with like a battleship charging you down <laughs> in your smoke screen uh, when you have uh, not so much health left. Not getting a lot of uh, damage into the guy. This is a bad angle for uh, British AP. I should aim a bit higher into the superstructure. Uh, no, not really any any good excuses there for all those bounces and breaks. Should have just gone for the uh, overpins through the uh, conning tower. But you know, hey, live and learn and all that uh, that stuff. Gonna try to come out of my smoke screen at full speed. I feel like that's important. I don't know what he's doing with his guns. He's doing a thing. See, that's why I should have gone with the, uh, the better pins up high. And torpedoes to the face. <laughs> and what else do you do when there's another Congo that's shooting at you? Size charge him. The YOLO charges <laughs> are the best thing about the uh, British cruisers, I think. And they're fast enough to uh, get up to speed and maneuverable enough to uh, dodge some shots on the way. Get some decent damage into this guy. Don't really want to uh, 
show my broadside here. I he, think he's seeing the writing on the wall. I should have put those other shots a little bit higher. That's a better volley right there. Better miss one. I would rather miss one high on the uh, water line than break it on the hole, right? And torpedoes, torpedoes. Six seconds on the torpedoes. Get another volley off into the fellow. And waiting on that torpedo reload. He's been cooperative. I appreciate this. <laughs> and then try to uh, get turned over for the other salvo close in. He made that turn at the wrong time, and he is done. <laughs> Aye. British cruisers. Hi, my new favorite thing in World Warships. This was, I think this was actually the last day I actually, uh, well, not the last day I played it, because, I mean, I still have the Fiji, but the last uh, day I was actually working on getting past it. I just need to save up the credits to buy the Edinburgh now. And since I'm not selling the Fiji, this kind of makes it a, a little bit longer of a process there. I got my Confederate uh, cracking in a high caliber, so that's a pretty good game. 140,000 damage so far. And just one enemy left, the uh, enemy Kamikaze R. I really do like the Kamikaze R. It's a really nice ship. Surprisingly enough, the uh, Fiji is actually one of my higher average damage ships. I don't know if that uh, speaks to them being slightly overpowered. Uh, me using them fairly effectively. Or uh, them, them just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting better. Maybe the ship's OP. I don't know. It's, it's one of those things. They are they're very fragile. Fragile, yeah. <laughs> Looking for the enemy destroyer detected, so I know he's within uh, 9 or 10 kilometers. Yeah, I think it's uh, 9.8 kilometers. He's within that distance. Kill him. Kill him with fire. Can't kill him with fire because I only have AP. Using my hydro because... Uh, yeah, just never know. Enemy Fujin. I said Fiji. It's a Fujin. Didn't I? Or did I get to say Kamikaze R? Anyways, it's a Fujin. Terrible camo. Goodness. And I'm a terrible shot. So we have all these things going. I think he's trying to go for the torpedo run, which I I support this decision. Uh, but man, that's just uh, bad luck with uh, me having my hydro up. Killing him. Seven kills in that game, pretty nice. Killing him and uh, having my hydro up at the same time. Yeah, I'm sure he probably would have rather uh, ran into the uh, battleship. Anyways, pretty nice game. Or six kills, not bad. Top of the team there. Fairly good effort by the uh, enemy team. Is first letting me kill them. I appreciate it. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully, all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all next time.